Hello everyone, my name is Paulina Jenfi and I am a second year master's student in the journalism program at the College of Creative Arts and Media here at WVU. I am also the Prevention Education Graduate Assistant at the Division of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion. My name is Megan Frappier and I am a senior studying criminology and political science with a minor in leadership studies. I have the privilege of serving as president of Peer Advocates, Panhellenic Vice President of Inclusion and a Diversity Ambassador for the Division of DEI. Thank you so much for taking steps towards a safer WVU community and being our most important campus safety partner. I want to share five tips for being an effective pro-social bystander, someone who intervenes when they see someone in trouble, either directly or indirectly. One, your safety comes first. In a situation where you do not feel safe to intervene directly, like a physical altercation, you should keep a reasonable distance and engage the assistance of others, like police, security, or 911. Delegating to a more appropriate person is still an intervention. Two, checking in with a person who has been harmed and responding to their distress is a powerful intervention on its own, offering kindness, support, connection, and resources to someone shows them that they are an important, cared-for member of our community. Three, taking personal responsibility is key. Some people may observe a situation or its aftermath and assume that someone has already helped, and their assistance is not needed. But if everyone assumes that, it may not happen. Consider it your responsibility to take the time to check and see if assistance is needed before moving on. Sir, we can't respond unless we recognize harmful situations. The signs of violence you see won't always be raised voices, insults, or physical aggression. You might see someone at a party who looks uncomfortable with what's going on around them or have a friend who was really engaged on campus suddenly become isolated. Stepping in to say, you seem like you need some help and I want to give it, is a big deal. And five, having role models who are pro-social bystanders can be instrumental in helping others to be interveners as well. Think about a person in your social circle who stands up for others. What can you learn from them? Think about the people who look up to you. What can you teach them about intervening once you make it a priority? Small changes and one person can make huge waves. As we move into the next 30 days of our semester, remember, your voice matters and you can use it in so many creative ways towards campus safety. If you're interested in learning more about bystander intervention, reach out to the Division of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion. Let's go, Mountaineers! Let's go, Martinez.